Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here, and in this video I've got your gameplay for the Ent Etandar 4M, <laughs> forgive me if I mispronounce, most people probably just say Etendard, but uh, Etandar 4M, I tried Google Translate pronouncing this for you guys, but I know I still made a fool of myself. Anyways, this is a French rank 6 battle rating 9.0 strike aircraft that is a uh, pretty decent aircraft by all accounts. Now, this is a better strike aircraft, of course, so you would be seeing this more so in ground attack missions, close air support, or even base bombing, but it doesn't really have the, the greatest ground attack weaponry ever. Of course, you can have four 500-pound uh, bombs to 1,000-pound bombs. You have your Nords there, which are pretty good at 9.0 PR, but that's pretty much it aside from some snap rockets. And you also have, of course, your manually guided AA-20 Nord air-to-air, -air, and you also have your AIM-9Bs. Now, of course, I like my AIM-9Bs because I really don't like putting in the work for the uh, Nord's air-to-air. -air. But anyways, this has two 30 millimeter cannons with 120 rounds each if you decide to actually get those cannons because, of course, they are optional. As you can see here, you don't actually need them. That said, I'm just going to be playing some Air RB, see how this plane goes, see how we do with it, and hopefully I can provide some tips, tricks, strengths, and weaknesses, and uh, let you guys know how to fly this plane as best as you can with the equipment that you have. That being said, let's get into it. Okay, as we're getting closer to the combat here, let's go over some of the strengths and weaknesses of this bad boy. So... As with most strike fighters, you're not going to get the best. Is it like a Stein or a tank? And oh, yes, I guess it is. Hey, hope you are uh, watching. Oh, look at that. Okay, that, that wasn't as good. This guy just said it for me. It is like a tank in terms of maneuverability. Anywho, I got some jabroni over here trying to gun for me. I'm not going to let him, though. Oh, Lord, that was so close. Woo! It's all about being excited here. Okay, I'm going to use um, my aim nines on him because, of course, the good Lord wants me to. Um, and before you guys think, oh, is Tango starting like this religious guy? No, I'm not. I'm not religious. I'm not going to get him. I really don't think I'm going to get this. Maybe I will. No way. No way. Oh, wow. I really screwed that up. Anywho. <laughs> let's get into some of the strengths and weaknesses of this plane. He is... Uh... Oh, I just let my, my friend die there. I'm so sorry, man. This is not the fastest plane. This is not going to be the most maneuverable plane. Nor is it in, well, what many people would consider to be the best looking plane out there. But I actually think it looks pretty cool, all things considered. Oh, there we go. Finally, I get the kill. Get the kill. Anyways, and so far as regular strengths are concerned, and so far as a non-afterburning engine is concerned, it's not that bad um, in terms of just overall speed. But it's not going to be very good either. Um, as you can see, it's eh. It's got plenty of thrust just to do what it needs to do, which is, at the end of the day, just strike. But striking isn't really all that you're probably going to want to do, um, especially with this aircraft. Ah, got so close with some of those. Now, it's got good cannons, though obviously not fantastic cannons. I actually might be able to get this Slim 5P here. Nope. I would say the kill has been taken. Uh, but it really wasn't mine in the first place. Now, that said, I'm probably not going to get any kills over there. And that's another... That's a big weakness of this aircraft. Is that in many matches that you play in, you're just simply not going to be fast enough to truly be able to compete and get kills. I mean, ultimately, War Thunder is in large part not entirely but in large part a game of who can get to the enemy first and if you're not able to get to the enemy first then you're not going to win simple as that um i might go for this i didn't realize how badly we were down actually so i'm gonna go for this g91 probably maybe this mig 17 yeah, probably the mig 17 
But, again, ultimately it kind of comes down to a few things here. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. Okay, critically struck. Really? You had to take that kill, but you couldn't get the guys who were probably going to gun for me. Well, I guess it's a premium top tier player, so whatever. But, um... No countermeasures. Aim 9B suck. And, again, mediocre handling and uh, not really great acceleration either. I mean, this G91 is doing whatever he wants. I'm going to put my air brakes on. Hopefully he overshoots me. But he's really just simply too far behind me for me to hope for that realistically. Uh, but with this MiG-21 here, I'm going to speed up. Ah, I farted that one up a little bit. But not too bad. I got two kills, one assist, and a few NPC kills. So I'm not really dis disappointed with that. Being that this is not going to be a great plane for uh, for the most part. It was an up tier and all that. But anyways, again, strengths. You have decent non-afterburning speed. But really, when you're comparing yourself to anything that has an afterburner, you're going to be left in the dust. Um, it also has aim 9 bs but also that's another weakness because aim 9 bs kind of suck. It doesn't really have a great uh, amount of anti-ground ordnance. You can only equip a few hundred or uh, two 500-pound bombs with it at any given time. Uh, whether you're going for anti-air, um, you can equip up to four 500-pound uh, bombs with it if you are going to go for anti-ground. But, of course, that limits you from having absolutely no... Um, missiles of any type, which even though M9B suck, you can still get kills with those, especially against NPCs, which you will want to do if you're actually trying to grind with it. So anyways, let's get into another match here, see what we can do, but two kills, one death, not too bad, not too great, but uh, I'll elaborate more on strengths and weaknesses there, and also hopefully go over some tactics. It's actually amazing how fast this plane is, like genuinely. If you look at all these planes that started right next to me, I think probably those are Bisses. Yep, that's what those are. You have some G91s, A20, okay, maybe not the A28. But I'm at 6,000 meters and going 900 kilometers per hour, like with no problem at all. This plane is actually pretty damn quick, um, all things considered. I mean, it's just kind of amazing. Uh, but that aside, let's get into some combat here. I'm going to boom and zoom. Speaking of, boom and zoom. That's not a bad idea. Um, that will be one of the tactics you can use with this. You know what? I'm going to probably go for that F2H. It's a down-tiered vehicle, for me at least. So hopefully, uh, that G91 is going to provide some issues. But hopefully I can do this. Put my throttle back on. I've actually just been playing the, uh, the BI or the BI, whatever it's called. So if you see me turning my throttle off while going into more or less a dive, that's why. Um, it, you know what? I'm not going to waste that missile. Uh, it's because in that plane, you almost literally cannot uh, put yourself... You cannot attach throttle or use throttle in a dive. Oh, God. This is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. Got someone behind me. Make 17, that's bad. That is actually very bad. But it's also a premium player, so that's not bad. Whee! Okay, I got that G91 there. Hopefully that kills him. I doubt it. Did not. He wised up. Okay, got to take off my air brakes here. Make 17 died. I actually had an ally that helped me. Are you for real? Wow, an ally actually helped me. That's actually kind of amazing. Uh, well, <laughs> help me this time around. I got someone still on me. A4, A4. Their entire enemy team is just deciding to miss today. I don't know what's going on here. This makes no sense. This is not the most maneuverable plane in the world. Let's hope this missile gets off the line and takes them out. It might. Doubt it, though. Actually, no, no, no. It's not going to hit him. I'm going to go back for this G91 over here. I might actually get him. Ah, 
Ah, I kind of feel bad. Ah, shoot. That actually makes me kind of feel bad there. Because I started shooting at him, and I didn't really notice until he was pretty much dead that he was dead. Uh, but I have this A4 here. Should hopefully be an easy enough kill. Three kills, not too shabby. This plane, it's not bad. You know, all things considered for a dogfight, it's not perfect. But, I mean, the amount of luck I just had there is just outstanding. I mean, it, it makes no sense that I was able to survive all of that. I got a hit. There's that. But it makes absolutely no sense that I was able to survive all of that dogfighting. Because those planes should have hit me. The MiG-17, the A-4. Um, it, I just don't know how I'm still alive here. We got an assist. Three kills, one assist. Not too bad. I'm just going to destroy this CL-13. Well, hopefully. Probably make a fool of myself. Okay. And now I'm going to go back to the base. Because, of course... Wow, there's not really all too much left. I mean, this could still go either way. Ooh, these guys are actually coming towards me. Uh, probably want to go for the MiG-17, bigger threat. And he is coming towards us, so... Got a kill, but at the cost of my own life, of course. Four kills, one assist, not too bad. Not upset by that. So anyways, tactics, boom and zoom, do it. Works very, very well, at least in a down tier. In an up tier, eh, but it is what it is. Let's get into the next match. You know, the more I fly this thing, the more I actually respect it. I mean, I'm actually quite impressed by this plane in many ways as a fighter uh, over a strike aircraft. Now, as a strike aircraft, I think, again, you're going to find it's better in close air support roles rather than air RB, uh, simply because it just doesn't have the loadout to do substantial amounts of damage to, for example, an enemy base. I am not expecting this. What? Come on, man. Launching a rocket or a, a, a radar guided rocket or missile at me. Come on. Come on. What is going on up here? Got an AV-8A. I got a, probably another AV-8A. What? I am not used to this many really like high up fighters this early in a match. But they're all probably premium players. Um, okay. Got him! Pilot snipe, or not pilot, what? Yeah, pilot snipe, not bad. Not too shabby, I'm gonna try to fly after this MiG-21. I might be able to get him in a dive with my aim nines, I doubt it though. Uh, but again, I mean, if that's a premium player, he might not even be aware I'm here. It's probably a MiG-21S, MiG, a MiG, yeah, MiG he's not launching flares, he's gonna probably die, possibly, probably. I probably should go for this MiG-17, as a matter of fact. But I'm not going to. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go for this MiG-21. There we go. He's got a flat trajectory. I may actually be able to get a kill yet. Yes! Woo! First aim, 9B killed this. Is that MiG-17 AS? If it is, I am in doo-doo. Okay, I'm not, it's not. Good, good, good. J2 there. I'm within 2 kilometers. That's fair enough for a missile launch. But it looks like it didn't really catch. So I'm going to still go for this... That MiG-17, I really want to help my buddy, but... Got a third kill. Woo! Yes, please. I'm actually... You know what? Like I said, I'm... You know what? I'm actually kind of impressed by this thing. It's got okay maneuverability. Not fantastic. Um, it's got powerful enough cannons. It's got a... In my opinion, actually, this is one of the better BR planes in-game. Uh, it's, you know, three kills... It's, I'm not even trying really here. Um, the only real downsides, as I mentioned before, are going to be things like, for example, it's lack of good missiles or things of that nature. Got a crit, got a kill. Whoa, something a bit weird just happened there. Four kills, not bad. Okay, I got an SU-7 here, gonna wanna kinda cut in. Oh, no, he's actually doing that for me. Uh, Oh, got a critical hit. Woo! <laughs> okay. This is not too bad. I am... I'm feeling pretty good about this match. I'm feeling pretty good about the, uh, the Attendard or... Attendard or whatever you want to call it. This is... Uh, wow. Wow. I'm genuinely impressed. Anyways, it looks like... 
They've got like two planes left, so I'm gonna land, reload, um, maybe even equip some bombs, go after a base, see what this can do in that regard, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Four kills and probably one of five kills. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is a good way to end this match. You know what? I mean, in a down tier, I mean, this seems like actually pretty damn good boom and zoom aircraft. I'm genuinely surprised. Wow. Wow. Let's get back in the sky, guys. Hopefully this guy doesn't shoot me. So, long story short, at the end of that match, uh, it looks like their last guy kind of drove himself into the ground and died. So that said, that was it. You know, five kills in the last match, four kills, one assist in the match prior. I think three kills, one assist in the first. Not too shabby. I am actually genuinely impressed by this aircraft. Uh, you know, 9.0 BR rank six, and it's got a very impressive engine. I mean, it's just overall... You wouldn't think it, but this is a very capable dogfighter so long as you engage with enemies of opportunity. Don't just try to get into turning fights with aircraft. Rather, look at aircraft that are going after your allies. Look at aircraft that might be low on energy, and you should be able to just go right by them, go right through them with your 30 millimeter cannons, maybe even get an AIM-9B kill with them as well. But uh, overall... This is a very, very impressive plane so long as you use it correctly. Again, getting targets of opportunity. Don't try to just dogfight with people because you're probably not going to do all too well because the maneuverability on this really is speed dependent. And also, just kind of forego using bombs and all that. I was going to use that at the end of the last match. But uh, again, the guy kind of drove himself into the ground before I could even drop them. But either way, thanks again, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I want to make this video because a, view a viewer did suggest it. So if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, for future plans you want to see, I'm actually kind of currently working on the VB1002 as a uh, future fighter video. But as you can see, I'm not quite there yet. But, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below and I am interested. But either way, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.